here's another here uh, interesting example so in this example when you take this piece and you put it here this sensor a1 will trigger then the conveyor belt will move to this direction when it gets to a2 a2 will trigger the puncher then the puncher will go down as it goes down it will trigger i3 and then after that i3 will let the conveyor it will let the puncher go up and then when it reaches to i4 and then the item will therefore go back to point a then it needs to stop when it gets there but only when it reaches to i4 that's where it will go back but in real essence it is already at i4 and it needs to go forward first and then when it gets here it comes down and it goes up and then then that's when it will reach iPhone then iPhone needs to permit uh, the backward motion but because of it's already at i4 i4 is induced i4 will release a signal that confuses the system the system will automatically goes back before you even start the process by the time you put an item here there will be this type of a correlation these two will hit each other they will want they won't want to work so now i've developed a way to temporarily prevent i4 from releasing the signal that goes to in this case it will be q q2 q1 going that direction q2 going backward q3 going up q4 going down so i4 is responsible for the backward motion and because of its pressed it wants to it wants the system to go back and the next video i'm going to demonstrate how to prevent this confusion happening here